So how big is the universe? The universe is unimaginably huge. New discoveries have found that there are about 2 trillion galaxies in this universe. That is about 285 galaxies for each and every single human being living on this planet. Throughout history, humans have used a variety of techniques and methods to help them answer the questions how far and how big. People are quite good at estimating various things. To demonstrate what I mean, try answering the following four questions in the simple thought experiments I have designed for you. How long does it take for an average person to walk half a kilometer? Approximately how many eggs fit into a small box? How much taller is an adult person compared to a six year old? What is the average difference in temperature between summer and winter? It is very likely that your answers to the questions above were to some extent correct. Everybody knows that an ordinary human walks a distance of a few hundred meters in a couple of minutes. There are about 5 to 10 eggs fit into a small box. That a child is about 2 to 3 times smaller than an adult. And that the difference between summer and winter temperatures is several dozen degrees at most. The questions were easy peasy, right? It's because our brains are excellent at estimating these things since we encounter them on a daily basis. But once we go past the border of the ordinary world, our perspective suddenly vanishes. To tell you what I mean, try answering the following three questions now. How many atoms fit into a dot of the question mark at the end of this sentence? How much farther from Earth is the Sun compared to the Moon? What is the difference in temperature between the Sun's core and its surface? If you did not happen to learn the answer to one of these questions, you are probably not able to respond. You may have tried, but it is very likely that your answer is far from reality. Our brains do not encounter atoms or stars on a daily basis, which makes answering these questions immensely difficult for them. Our world is much smaller but also much bigger than most of us think. On one hand, there is an incredibly minuscule world of atoms and molecules. On the other hand, we can see a gigantic world of stars and galaxies. Let us start with the first group, the smallest objects of the cosmos. Hydrogen is the lightest element of the cosmos. The radius of a hydrogen nuclei is about 10 billionth of a meter. If you take one millimeter and split it into 10 million parts, each of these parts will be the same size as one of these atoms. And the whole thing becomes even more interesting if you realize that a hydrogen nuclei by itself is another thousand times smaller than that. To take the demonstration of the tininess of atoms a bit further, take a pencil and a piece of paper. Now draw a small dot on the paper. If you have done so, you have stained your paper with billions of carbon atoms. However, this number is ridiculously small if you compare to the number of atoms in an average sized human body which is staggering 7 billion 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 atoms. Even if we consider the bodies of the smallest and simplest existing organisms which is bacteria, we still get a huge number of atoms in billions. Now let's move on from the world of indescribably small to the world of incredibly big. The biggest moon of the solar system is Ganymede. With its 5,000 kilometers in diameter, it is revolving the planet Jupiter. This moon is actually even bigger than the smallest planet of the solar system, which is Mercury. The planet you are currently inhabiting is a huge sphere almost 13,000 kilometers in diameter. If you were to go around the entire circumference of the Earth by walk, it would take you nearly a year to complete the journey. It's that big. Let's now consider the biggest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. Jupiter is 140,000 kilometers in diameter and about 11 times larger than our planet. You would have to travel a total of 10 years to walk the distance equal to the circumference of Jupiter. It's even bigger than our planet. But even a giant like Jupiter is nothing compared to the king of our solar system, the Sun itself. Its diameter is an incredible 14 million kilometers, which is the equivalent of 110 Earths. It would take you about 5 years to drive around the entire circumference of the Earth in a car. But what is the largest object of the universe? Unfortunately, nobody knows. But we still have a few candidates. The largest star we know of 
is a red giant US Curie, which has a monstrous diameter of 2.4 billion kilometers, about 1,700 suns put side by side in a row. But again, I'm not going to omit a little comparison with human vehicles. In a car, you would encircle this staggering star in 8,000 years. But the largest supermassive black hole we know of is a lot bigger than that. Its diameter is over 90 billion kilometers. That is the equivalent of 600 distances from the Earth to the Sun. Not only the sizes of some various objects in this universe that we have discussed so far in this video was astonishing, but also the massive distances between various objects in the universe, which I'll be discussing in the next video, will be astonishing too. So stay tuned and hey, if you are the one who is very passionate about space and stuff, click on the link for my new article in the description box below. And as always, thanks for watching.